This year has been definitely in sign of Computex 2023 and I can't wait for the next year as well because it will be definitely interesting, at least I presume. But uh, today we're going to talk about something that was presented on uh, Lian Li's boot this year, right? So we have here Lian Li Unifan TL LCD 120 and 140 reversed and regular blade. And these are definitely something that made eyes pop, right? At their boot it was nicely presented with the LCD screen right here on the middle part of the fan. And I was quite curious, will they have less performance because of the LCD screen in the middle, smaller blades and stuff like that. But we'll check that out uh, today and uh, I'll give you more insights about them. Of course, there'll be a separated video just with the fans in a dedicated build for these ones. So yeah, it's going to be quite interesting. So today we're going to take an overview and a detailed approach uh, when we're talking about the L-Connect and everything that you need to know about the Unifan TL LCD 120-140 reverse and regular blade. So as you can see, right here from the start, we have uh, infinity mirror on both sides. We have the LCD screen right here in the middle. You have nice LED strips that are this time connected on both sides, so going from the side here at the back where you actually daisy chain other fans and going completely around the rubber part which is also designed quite nicely because it has a rubber part that covers the screws and this is quite awesome because it looks like they're just placed inside the case you can't see any screws and they're nicely covered up so you just have to pop out that rubber part tie them up to the case and place the rubber part back of course, one side will be constantly open because the screws need to go through one side to be attached either to your radiator or to your case. So this is something that you need to know. Regardless of that, we have a new connector, which obviously needs to happen because we are having an LCD screen. So it has to have a proprietary connector and uh, it's also the same thing. So you can flip it around, depends on which side blast fan goes uh, to your connection, to your hub to control it as it is. Then we have four screws for your uh, case mounting for the radiator. You'll use the regular fans, even though these fans are thicker because the screws go a bit inside and uh, attach to the radiator as a standard 25 millimeter fan. Now, uh, going further with that, the design is quite nice because the screen doesn't rotate whatsoever. But we'll get to that part. And then finally, the connection part to the next fan is a bit different, a bit different. But they can be also removed if, for instance, you need some space for your fittings, for your tubes or anything similar to that. Even the chassis, if it goes uh, in the way of the fan right at the rear of the chassis. Now let's check out the details and uh, what you need to know before we go into the L-Connect software. Now we have a built-in 1.6 inch LCD display which is customizable with L-Connect software and uh, this kind of makes it really cool because you get, well depending on the chassis, if you go for instance with uh, O11 Vision you get 6, 8, 8 actually, depending on the position. So 7 to 8 uh, fans with the LCD screen. If you go with O11D Evo XL, then you go with 10 TL LCD fans with the screen. So that's going to be quite interesting to see and check out because I'll build uh, in the O11D Evo XL. So the built-in 1.6 LCD IPS uh, screen has the resolution of 400 times 400 and you can display various uh, system information such as CPU temperature, uh, CPU load, GPU temperature and load, uh, fan speed, but the screen also supports GIF, MP4, JPEG and PNG files. The LCD display can be fully customizable individually or you can synchronize it uh, in a way that multiple fans through L-Connect software show the same visuals. Now, as I mentioned, the thickness of the fan, it's uh, much thicker because they lost the middle part 
for the LCD screen, but this means that the 28 millimeter thickness of the fan allows the blades to be wider and they provide better performance. So despite the thicker frame, the fans can be mounted to radiators with the standard screws made for 25 millimeter fans. We have fluid dynamic bearing and it has been specially designed to be hollow to enable the mounting of the LCD frame, which requires wires for the LCD screen, right? Now the Unifan TL LCD controller can support up to six LCD fans uh, simultaneously, which with each port uh, being capable of hosting up to three Unifan TL LCD fans. So what I mentioned with 10 fans being placed in O11D EVO XL, you have to run two controllers to run all of those 10 fans. If you decide to mix Unifan TL and Unifan TL LCD fan groups, uh, you can go up to six LCD fans and 10 regular TL fans which can be connected to the same controller. You can mix them in the case, but you can't interconnect them because this will create uh, some sort of aesthetic pleasing design because it would be really strange to uh, interlock uh, the LCD and the regular TL. And this way it brings us to the point where it, they force you a bit to uh, organize your build in a nice way. As I mentioned, the, the TL LCD has on both sides the infinity RGB, so the diffused RGB strip uh, wraps around the edges of the anti-vibration pads. The lightning style uh, offers a continuous effect when connected in clusters, which is great because it doesn't have any disconnects in the RGB. The top and the bottom LEDs are divided into separate zones, which can be individually controlled with L-Connect. Now, each fan features 26 LEDs, 13 per light zone. Because of the built-in IC in each uh, fan, uh, the software can automatically recognize 120 and 140 fan models, uh, which allows uh, us and you guys to basically uh, adjust each fan separately. Now, when we access the L-Connect control software, we have a couple of things that we need to check. So right on top, we have the fan hub, then we have the fan hub ports. You have fan lightning page and fan speed page, so it's uh, separated. Then we have quick access to the fan speed profiles, LCD screen customization page. Then we have LCD screen default setting, LED zone selection, lightning effect drop down menu, so you can choose varieties of effects. Then to manual adjust the group fan quantity and orientation, you can go with settings page, a quick view of the group status with number of fans, fan profiles and applied light effects. If you use the extension cable, multiple groups will be displayed right here. And of course, at the end, we have the apply button, which applies the light settings to the selected group of fans. Apply to all, of course, uh, gives you an option to apply all the settings that you set up to all the fans simultaneously. And default, it resets to the factory default, which is rainbow. Apply all actually allows the users to select which controller, which port and which fan group to copy the light settings to. Now LCD screen second part is you have the current LCD effect, then we have the LCD screen rotation because after all you'll be trying to organize your fans inside the case according to the cable routing, the position and everything else. Then you have the possibility to select a picture, GIF uh, or video. Uh, they will update the video recording and editor shortly. Then we have four options to be displayed on each LCD display. Then we have four options available to be displayed on each LCD display. And to manually adjust group fan quantity and orientation, you have to go to the settings page. Now there are two styles of display sensor that are available in customizable uh, effect color and text color. You can adjust the color of the font, you can adjust the color of the graph and the sensor display can monitor CPU, GPU temperature and load and group fan RPM, which is great because of course, I don't know, some of you guys will check out the fans because they look cool without a doubt. So we have dual LED zone lighting effects, same as the TL fan, and uh, you can choose 14 lightning effects, single LED zone lighting effects, as well, same as TL. We have 21 lightning effects, which can be applied to the top and bottom LED zone independently. You can synchronize top and bottom LED zone to start, stop at the same time. Uh, for a certain effects such as runway, when selected in dual light zone mode, the effect will run from the top to the bottom, but in a single light zone mode with sync on, the effect will run back and forth to the top and bottom simultaneously. Now the fan speed profile page, we have up to four custom profiles. You have to toggle the switch for the zero RPM in the software, 
you have fan speed that can be uh, adjusted uh, accordingly for the CPU or GPU temperature. Then you have value that can be entered manually or by sliding the curve matter. Uh, quick view, of course, as I mentioned before, for uh, group status, you can switch between the curve or linear value and to apply everything you have apply or apply all, depending on what are uh, your preferences, of course. Then we have the controller settings. Now you have fan type and controller number. Group name can be customized. Then you have the option to set back to the default, adjust group orientation which can give you a possibility to adjust the bottom fans, rear fans, side fans and stuff like that. And we have control port number as well. So it gives you an indication uh, which uh, segment are the fans connected to. To give you more insights on the color scheme and options that you have, we have 120 millimeter black regular and 120 millimeter white regular, 140 millimeter black reverse and 140 millimeter white regular. So uh, you can go with all the colors because you have in black and white, 120, 140, regular and reverse. 120 regular comes in black and white as I already mentioned, but it comes in single and triple pack. The 140 regular comes in single pack black and white. You can't get that in a triple pack. And the reverse ones, 120 go in black and white, single and triple pack. While the 140 reverse go at the same as the regular black and white and only in single pack. Now let's check out some specs. So we have Unifan TL LCD regular, black and white, all the same, 120 times 125 times 28 millimeters. We have PBT, PC and uh, aluminum material. Uh, we have 12 volts for the fan and 5 volts for the LED. The fan speed for the 120 is zero and from 350 to 1900 RPMs, uh, while the 140 is zero and 400 to 1600 RPMs. Air pressure 2.9 millimeters H2O at maximum and the 140 is 3.5 millimeters H2O at maximum. Airflow 62 CFM for the 120 and 68.1 CFM for the 140. Acoustic noise 27 decibels at maximum for 120 and 28.5 decibels for the 140. Now for the reverse model we have the same material, uh, voltage and fan speed. And then we go to the air pressure 2.83 millimeters H2O for 120, 140 is 3.1 millimeters H2O. Uh, airflow is 54.3 CFM and 140 is 64 CFM while the acoustic noise is 31 decibels for the 120 and 29.4 for the 140. You've seen from the close-ups uh, that uh, you can do literally everything with the LCD. You can go with GIFs, you can go with video in MP4 format and you can go with pictures, but also you can go with sensors as you can see right here. Now the GPU is zero because I didn't install drivers uh, and that's a long uh, story. Uh, just for the testing out of these fans but regardless of that they are outstanding you can really adjust the lights as you can see it's really independently how you desire to do so you can go with static color you can go with uh, any of the presets that they have inside the l connect and of course adjust the lcd screen to your liking which is outstanding of course and gives you some options to um, additionally adjust uh, pimp up your pc as so would i say so all in all this is something definitely new to the market without a doubt having an lcd screen on the fans and i know some of you guys will definitely not be interested in this but for you guys that were lo looking for these and waiting for this since computex 2023 here they are. Uh, in those terms, I'll place the links in the description below so you can check out the prices and the availability, of course. And uh, finally, don't forget to check out all the, because you have the 120, 140, white, black, reverse, regular. It's all there so you can combine perfectly for your white or black build. Are you going to place them on the bottom, on the side or at the top? It's all up to you to combine literally everything. So that's it guys that's all for today don't forget to subscribe hit the like button and click the notification bell for future content and we need to cover the tl fans as well and of course those builds that uh, i'll be using both of those fans uh, to check out that's all for today guys thank you for sticking by and see you next time bye bye